it's 2020, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. And it's different than when it was 2016. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lunch. <laughs> Don't call me motherfucking child trying to talk to me, find out some shit, talk about some gossip. Don't call me with no bad news. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't calling me to uplift me, if you ain't calling me to, to I'm not 911, I'm not in the mood. Don't call me unless there's some love on the other end of the phone. Matter of fact, I'm working. I don't want nobody to call me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody do them. 50 Cent is showing the entire world that he's the king of New York when it comes to hip hop and entertainment. Ain't showing no mercy on Diddy and taking shots at Jay Z. But one got to ask the question can you blame him? I mean, the guy born and raised in Queens, New York, had to go to a whole nother coast to Eminem and Dr. Dre to become the figure that he has became into the business. Why? Those two moguls couldn't discover or rather introduce 50 Cent to the world. So when it comes to respect, why should he have any respect for those who did not put him in the game but overlooked him in the game? Salute. So we, we coming to you live, um, Diddy Late Nights, um...